guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Hello. So this is a video that I think I mentioned in my last very chatty vlog. <laughs> I mentioned that we would film a video which was all about all the prints that we've kind of accumulated mm -hmm. over the past five years I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we've got loads. <laughs> More than we thought. Yeah, so we've gone through them and we picked out our favourites and we're just going to chat about the story behind them and then once we um, start decorating the flat then you'll be able to see where we end up putting them. Mm -hmm. So let's get to it. So our first print is this. It says Eat, Sleep, Create on it and this is actually a print by the Michelac. But this print, I think we got it about four years ago. We started watching them, well I started watching them before I went on the uh, the first ever cruise ship. Um, and then I introduced Martin to them and they were the first vlogs that Martin ever watched, ever. Like you didn't even know what a vlog was. No, like it's <laughs> this is really significant because it got us started, well it got me started on the sort of whole YouTube journey. Yeah, <laughs> so we really wanted one of their prints when they um, brought out all their prints. So yeah, we've got this Eat Sleep Create one. We need to flatten it out, um, but we're thinking Martin's got like a little office corner now of the living room, mm -hmm. so we're thinking that might be a nice print for there because obviously it's all about creating and editing. And that's what we're doing. Yeah. Uh, so the next thing, this is a print that Helena actually got me for, was it my birthday? No, it was our first Oh, it was anniversary, anniversary. wasn't it? It was first anniversary, yeah. So this uh, was a collage of four of our photos from that the first, first year, year together so Disney World uh, that's at home in Newcastle this is Barcelona, is that Barcelona Zoo. Zoo and then this was on the ship where we went for a meal uh, so this is this used to be up in our Crystal Palace flat yeah and then it hasn't been up uh, while we've been uh, at our other place but I think it should go back up because yeah definitely it signifies our first ever year together my actual idea was to get one for each anniversary um but then I decided against that idea because we would have way too many <laughs> <laughs> so I quite like it because it's like the first year that we were together um mm -hmm. so it's quite cute to remember those memories oh yeah Oh, sorry. <laughs> so next is a huge print. Um, I'll try and get some of it in. Can I hold that side for mm -hmm. me? Can to take up the whole thing. Uh, but if you look very closely, that is actually me. <laughs> and this is my friend Colin. And we were in a show which I actually vlogged like back in the day. Um, our first year of vlogging, mm. I actually vlogged um, being in this show. Yeah. And it was a show on at the Bunk Theatre and it was created by another friend of mine called Felicity and she created this amazing show. It was called A Lost Star and we actually did a few different variations of the show. We did it in a derelict building as part of an arts festival. We did it at the Bunk Theatre um, and we also put together um, like short films, mm -hmm. short dance films. Um, and her company is called Palms Down Dance. So I'll put all the links in the um, description box if you want to watch the videos and stuff. But yeah, it's just a really lovely memory of being able to create theatre with friends. Um, I absolutely loved the show. It was really different, wasn't it? Yeah, and it was all to do with mental health as well, wasn't yes. it? So a very important yeah. thing to be doing a show on. Yeah. So I really loved that print. It was actually the poster that was outside the theatre. Um, but when we um, ended the show, I was like, can I take that? Because, <laughs> um, yeah, I just think maybe not. It's quite big, so I don't know if this flat is big enough yet. But definitely when we have a house, that's going to live somewhere. Oh, I think um, we'll be able to put it somewhere. Yeah, but I really like that. Next, so this uh, is in an envelope because I want to keep it safe. So this I actually purchased um, on board the cruise ship when I was working on there. And you will have seen it if you watch some of my... Uh, uh, Martin in Asia series. Oh, yeah. um, so this is a signed <laughs> Star Wars poster. It's signed by Dave Prowse, the man that was inside the Darth Vader costume. And this is like the original Star Wars poster um, because it doesn't have a new hope on it. So this is how it was originally released with Star Wars on it. And it's got a certificate of authenticity to let you know that it is genuine <laughs> so it was signed by Dave Prowse in 2017 and uh, that's really cool it's just so good I can't believe that hasn't been up 
Well, yeah, because I've been keeping it safe. Yeah, you have to think of a really good place to yeah. show that off. Yeah, it'll go in here somewhere. Maybe but now could... I've watched Star Wars. Could you put it behind the TV? Well, we, ha- we haven't decided yet. <laughs> <laughs> Next are these two prints. Um, one of them is Moon River by Audrey Hepburn, and the other one is Carousel. And these are like really old original prints, I think. Um, but these, I got these ages ago, and I actually think my um, friend Dan um, brought them for me. Um, and I love them because Carousel is one of my favourite musicals and I played Judy Jordan in, um, I went to the Brit School and we did Carousel as our end of year production and I was Judy Jordan in that. And I think it was the first ever like main role I'd mm. ever had and I loved it. And then Moon River by Audrey Hepburn because as you will see, I love Audrey Hepburn prints. <laughs> I've got so many. <laughs> um, so yeah, I love them. Isn't Carousel, I've never seen Carousel. Um, never seen Carousel. I've never seen Carousel, but isn't that the one where you'll never walk alone? Yeah, yeah. That's where it originates. Yeah, it's an old Rodgers and Hammerstein musical. Uh God, you have to watch it. It's like my (laughs) favourite musical. (laughs) I'm sorry. Oh, right. Now this one, I'm so desperate (laughs) to have this up. Uh, Bought this in Walt Disney World in 2016. Our first trip. It was on our first ever trip. And it's, of course, the main man one of my all-time favourite characters, uh, Indiana Jones. And we got this because, well, I I love Indiana Jones, loved the stunt show. And on that trip, I I was thinking about getting the hat and then I decided not to get the hat Mm. and to get something different. So I got this print. And there was quite a few different ones, but I really liked the look of this one. Still got the price on it, look. Still got the price on it. It was (laughs) $21.95. Dollars, yeah. It's still inside um, inside the plastic sleeve. But yeah. Indy's going to go up somewhere. Next is this. This is actually like a canvas painting. And um, my dad is half Gambian, um, West African. And as a family, oh my gosh, when I was about 11, we went as a whole family. (laughs) His whole side of the family uh, went to visit Gambia, where he um, is from, where his family's from. And this was um, a print that we picked, well, a painting that we picked up there. And I love it because it just reminds me of that um, visit. Um, It was a really special visit because I think it's the only time where our whole family Mm. has gone on holiday together. Like, it was literally his whole side of the family. Um, All his brothers and sisters, his mum and everyone. Um, So yeah, it's a really special time. Um, I remember spending it with all my cousins (laughs) and... Yeah, it's just one of my favourite holidays. And it was really nice to see... He lived there until he was nine, and then he went to boarding school over here. It's um, good, though, because so it links yeah. back to your heritage. Yeah, it does. But absolutely love that. So I have to... I like the colours as well. Mm. Very colourful. Um, it's really old now, because I think I was about 12 when I went. <laughs> We're starting to realise that a lot of these are still in the plastic sleeves, because <laughs> we haven't had them out anywhere. Next up is something that Helena got me for, I think it was either Christmas or a birthday, and it is an, an image, and it's of America, and it's got a heart where Florida is, uh, because it says, love is watching the fireworks in Disney World, Martin and Helena, May 2016, so to signify our trip, yeah, our, first our first ever trip. trip, and sort of the trip that I was a Disney fan before... I met Helena, but just casually watching the films. And, yeah, and you loving, weren't at Disney parks, and man. And loving Toy really? Story. I'd been to Disneyland Paris before. Yeah, but you didn't go is, on anything. <laughs> this is just where our, uh, you know, but it being special because we were going together. I think that's why we love Disney so much as well, because like the Disney parks in particular is because it's just a place that reminds me of us. Yeah. It's a place where we go together. Yeah. And it's like our place. We'd done um, such a long contract working on board a ship, and then that was our first holiday together. Yeah. And it was like, oh, yes. <laughs> Let's just, well, re- I say relax. <laughs> yeah, but relax in like a fun way. Yeah. Um, oh, we were just so, I remember that whole year of that contract. We were working really hard on that ship, and um, we were just looking forward to it so much. Yeah. Um, I think we came home for a week. And then we went. Saw our friends and family. And then we were like, <laughs> bye guys, we're off to Florida for two weeks. <laughs> like, sorry. Amazing. <laughs> I remember thinking, actually, we were going to ask if we could 
because they provide flights home and we were going to ask if they could provide us flights to Orlando straight away. Really? I can't remember that. <laughs> and then we were like, no, we've got to yeah, go home. Probably, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is quite big Ooh, as well. <laughs> um, so this is a very special print because this I've had since I was um, a baby and it was in my room. Um, I can't remember how old, but definitely since I was a toddler. Sorry, you can see the light there. <laughs> it's glaring. <laughs> yeah. And it's just of um, two ballet shoes on a piano and... It's just kind of special to me because obviously I have um, gone to dance college and since then I've been um, singing and dancing as my career. So it's just really special for me um, to have. And I think might put this up, not sure yet. I think this would be quite good uh, above your makeup station. Oh yeah, it could be actually with the colours. I found this website quite a few years ago called Displate. <laughs> which is, it's like the designs on metal plates that you then can stick to your wall uh, with like a, a magnet. And I saw this one, and this is of Marty McFly from one of my all-time favourite movies, Back to the Future. Uh, obviously, it's very cool because it says Marty, and that is, you know, name. that's my name. Although the only person that calls me Marty is my mum. <laughs> but that makes this special. Yeah. Um, and there he is, uh, the silhouette of Marty McFly in front of the DeLorean. I just love it. Uh, but I've never been able to put it up anywhere, so it's still wrapped up. <laughs> I love the colours and it's everything. It's going to take us like a day to decide where all these prints are actually going to go. <laughs> so next is another Audrey Hepburn, and this is from Display as well. It is. Um, so did we get this at the same time? Mm. No, I got this for you for a, a birthday present or uh, a, some sort of present. Um, oh, it's got a bit of a mark on it. But this will look really good with the Marty somewhere. Because mm -hmm. obviously they're like the same size and the same um, metal. Um, but yeah, I don't... Have I got a uh, thing for it? Yeah, it's on the back of mine. Oh, okay. So yeah, that's just a... Sorry. <laughs> <Don't you ask. laughs> that's just an Audrey Hepburn. Um, yeah, I love this. Really cool. I love Audrey Hepburn. I love Audrey Hepburn prints. <laughs> no, she was, uh, well, I mean, the more I read, because I knew that you liked Audrey Hepburn, but then the more I read about her and found out, like, all of her work to do with UNICEF. Yeah, she did loads of charity work. She was really, work. really nice human being, it, it seemed. Well. Yeah. I'm going to quickly do this one as well, because it's another Audrey Hepburn. <laughs> um, but it's like a canvas one. I actually can't remember when I got this. Um, I think I had this on my college room. The room that I stayed at when I went to drama school. Oh, okay. I think this was on my wall. Mm -hmm. So I've had it for loads of years. But I, I like it. It's really cool. I think I might have got it from a charity shop or something. Oh, that's but, good. Yeah, I love that. So obviously I am not living in my hometown. My hometown is Newcastle-upon-Tyne. Uh, so I always need a little bit of home with me. So this is absolutely perfect. And this is actually a photograph that my dad took in Newcastle on the quayside and he put it onto a canvas, got it printed and put on a canvas and I, I love it. The colours of it at night time, the quayside is always such a wonderful place on a night time. And when he got this for me, I thought he'd just bought it from somewhere, but then he told me that he'd actually taken this photograph, so it's very, very special. It looks like a professional. Well, he does do professional he does, he, photos. He, he does photography, yeah. yeah, and he gets some really good shots. But yeah, yeah this is always... I can't believe he took that. This has been up in our in our bedroom, hasn't it? So yeah. It might be nice for the up. hallway, actually, yeah. that one. Because I, I need some big prints for the hallway. Mm. That's a good size. So next is just this really little <laughs> print. Um, this doesn't really have a special meaning behind it. <laughs> we picked this up in Primark one day. Um, but it kind of reminds me of our Crystal Palace flat. I think that's where we picked it up. Yeah, it does actually. Um, but just so it says, my letter is in the post and it's obviously a Hogwarts Harry Potter print. But it, it reminds me of us going to the studio. I have to think of a cute little place for this somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> so this one makes us laugh. Um, we, obviously, like I said, we worked on a cruise ship and that first year that we were together, mm. um, we went to Barcelona quite a lot of times and it became one of our favourite places. And actually... This print also signifies, so there's like the print um, that signifies us starting to watch, or me starting to watch vlogs with the Mitch Lacks. And then this one is oh, from yeah. a day that we actually, it was the first time we ever tried vlogging. 
which you won't have seen. No. <laughs> um, you we... actually did it more for the cruise, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, like, the cruise to use as, like, promotion, not yeah. for our own channel. It was literally, like, five minutes. But it was, like, the first I was day... too nervous to be in it. First I literally... Day, yeah. I was, like, every time you pointed the camera at me, I was like, no. You wouldn't be I in it. I don't want to be in it. And then uh, we... In that vlog, and on that day, we got our caricatures done. <laughs> Is that terrifying? <laughs> It's terrifying. Are. So, why have you, like, have you seen your muscles in I it? Know. I wish I, I wish I did look like that. Um, but yeah, they accentuate certain features. So. Look at our teeth. I know we've got big smiles, which is good. We've yeah. got the same smile. Scary. <laughs> so and then it says Barcelona, two thousand and fifteen. Yeah. And then the guy who drew it. <laughs> But I remember when we were posing to have this done and everyone that walked past just laughed. Yeah, everyone Because they saw what he was drawing. Yeah. And I was like, oh no, like, <laughs> what is this guy drawing? But um, so good. It is funny. <laughs> I don't think I want it in the living room. I think it might be more of a bathroom print. <clears throat> like, put it near the toilet so people can have a laugh. <laughs> they come round to go to the toilet. Okay. <laughs> have our scary faces staring at them. <laughs> So next is an absolutely huge print that you will all recognise, but it's not a print, it's a, um, a drawing. So three guesses where we got this. <laughs> Disneyland Paris and, um, I'll put it back up. Um, you guys will know the story behind this if you watched our vlogs of this trip. Mm -hmm. I can't remember, was it our engagement trip? Um, yes, it was, it was 2000, it's got the day on it. Oh yeah, 7th of the 11th. 2018. 2018. Yeah. Yes, it was. And this was done by Will. And as you'll know, he um, took a shine to Martin and he called him the goof the whole of the drawing <laughs> session. Yeah. And then Martin actually won his drawing. I did. Um, so we've actually got the animator's drawing of it. Yeah, yeah. And also inside, we have our versions of Goofy. So, so that was yours. That's yours, quite yeah. good. No, <laughs> oh, no. You went looking for it and you found the Mickeys. No, why did I keep that? So this, <laughs> so, this is my Goofy, which is good. So we're thinking of putting our Goofies either side of Will's Goofies. Although Will's Goofy will show ours up. Um, but then... <laughs> We also drew Mickey. You guys will remember this from the vlogs. That was my Mickey. Very proud of him. I actually would like him up. But Martin won't allow the Mickey's drawings to go up because... <laughs> I'm not putting that anywhere. This was his. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he so small? Like, is, is I did drawing? the circle wrong, <laughs> I felt. It is his ears. I felt really <laughs> under pressure. And then he signed it, an ashamed Martin Bell. <laughs> Have to keep it, because it makes me laugh every time. At least my drawing got better for the, uh, the badge. <laughs> but it was actually Martin's idea to do the drawing class, because um, he loves drawing, and I'm, yeah. I'm a really bad drawer, normally. Oh, no, yours were really good. And, yours um, were better than mine. So he was the one that made us do it, and then afterwards he was like, never again. You were so no, embarrassed. No, because we went back and we did Goofy. Yeah, because you have to redeem yourself. Yeah, and then I've noticed that they, they closed it for a bit and now they've opened it up again. Yeah, we'll so have to go back. We'll have to go back and do that. Although, uh, Jess and Tom, they drew, drew Mushu, didn't they? Yeah, they're, they're both really good at drawing. That was that looked hard. Yeah, I was impressed by their, mm. by their drawings. Right, quickly, because I don't know how long this video is. Our second to last print is our Dumbledore print. I love mm -hmm. this. I can't remember when can't or why we got we, this. I can't remember where we got it. Um, but it's Dumbledore. I think we got it from Etsy. And it's our favourite quote from Harry Potter. It says, Happiness can be found even in the darkest of times if one only remembers to turn on the light. Mm -hmm. I love the colours and everything about it. I just... I think this was a gift. Did I not get it for you? Maybe. <laughs> Isn't it mad? Like, need to, need to start, write on them. Yeah, I start to forget. Like, <laughs> write on the back I of them. <laughs> um, but I absolutely love this, and this was up in our Crystal Palace flat. Yeah, I um, love that it's just splattering of colours. Yeah, really cute. And then last but not least, Martin wants to talk about this one because it's your yeah, favourite. Yeah, no, I just well, I thought we would 
<laughs> I thought we would talk about this one last because this. Uh, I'll just move it so it's not glaring. <laughs> this is just a really special one for us because this, like we've got the one that's about our first trip to Walt Disney World, mm. we've got this one, and this was our first ever trip together to Disneyland Paris when we went in the summer. And there was someone that got in touch with us about watching the videos and wanting to do something uh, for us. Yeah. And he had this great idea of having the layout of a character and then placing the photos from your trip like strategically inside the character. So this Mickey Mouse and Tinkerbell has got all of our different photos from our 2017 yeah. trip to Disneyland Paris. And if we can find the Etsy store, we will um, pop that in the description box. I'm not sure if he makes them still, um, but if he does, we'll be sure to pop. Yeah, um, I hope he does, because he had so many different characters yeah, as well. Yeah, they're but... really good. Yeah. I mean, this was from how many years ago now? 2017. Yeah, it's quite a few years ago now. But we love it still. Because well, we can just quickly look at it. And, yeah, and, and it brings and back so out many all the memories. memories. Yeah. Uh, I love the Tinkerbell as Tower of Terror. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's because it was your first... This was the trip where you conquered it. It was. That's why it it's, has pride of place. And there's also this photo here. You might not be able to see it um, from where you are positioned. But this photo here, we are stood mm. in the exact place that we get engaged in 2018. <laughs> also, this time is the only time we've been to Disneyland Paris together in summer. Yeah. Like, we've never... All our other photos were, like, in, like, scarf and jackets. And, like, so it's really weird to see us in, like, shorts. <laughs> well, that's something that we hopefully can rectify this year. Yes. Possibly. Jungle Festival. Yeah, I, I still don't know why I was wearing a dress shirt. <laughs> I know. I don't know why you wore a shirt. You were really sweating, I remember. So that is it. That is all our prints. I hope you enjoyed the video. It's really fun to like reminisce about yeah, them. Really also good. gave us quite a clear idea of what prints we have and yeah. gave me a few ideas about where to put them up. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed that little trip down memory lane. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.